Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to learn how to put an author box in your website. Alright? Hi everyone! Okay, in this video, you're going to actually learn how to do an author bio. Alright, so uh, just have a look. Okay, so the author bio basically looks like this. And what we do in the author bio is basically we talk a bit about ourselves. We give people a little bit of a background information about us. And, uh, you know, it adds a bit of flavor uh, to your articles. Okay, so first of all, how do we start doing this? Alright, we are now in the WordPress dashboard, okay, and first of all, what we should do is we should look up the plugin, okay, that can help us do this. So, you have to go into plugins, okay, just go into plugins and click on add new. Alright, now after that, look for something called a simple author box, alright, so just give it a second. You should be able to see this particular plugin with this icon here, right? So this is the plugin that we want, huh? So simple auto box. So just install and activate this plugin. Alright, so once we're done, we're going to actually see a new icon here, a new um, a new item here called Simple Author. And you can just click inside the Simple Author uh, option here. Alright, so basically it will give you an idea of what you can do in your author bio. So uh, we're going to actually uh, upload a, an image, uh, put in our name, maybe give ourselves a little bit of a summary and also set up a few social media icons yeah so first we click on the author profile okay edit author profile when you click on that it will actually bring you up into your profile screen all right so you might notice that this screen is actually the same when you go into your author edit my profile all right on the top right corner okay you can just edit my profile and you basically could end up in the same screen as well huh? now when you scroll down just put in uh, your desired first name okay so uh for for right now i'm gonna just put my name one e and uh you can actually change your display name here right okay just change it uh into your real name all right so previously it was going to be the dmc admin but i'm gonna change it into a real person's name yeah so if you scroll down a little bit more, you can start talking about yourself, right? So just put in a few lines of text that is describing yourself or maybe you want to promote your business, you can actually put it inside here as well, right? And the profile picture here, all right, if you scroll down, there is one part here that is called custom user profile image, okay? This is where you can upload your own image to use in your author bio box. Alright, so just click on upload image and select the image that you want to use in your author bio. Eh? So after that, okay, you can actually add on social media links here. So uh, I have a list of social media links here that I've already added, alright, in advance. And you can put anything here, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, Quora, okay. So just as long as you have the, uh, you know, URL, okay, to put inside here, uh, you're good to go. Eh? Alright, so you can add or remove any links that you want. Alright, now once you're done, okay, click on update profile. Okay. Right, so after you update the profile, okay, uh, you can basically go into new incognito mode, alright, new incognito window, and you go back into your website. Okay. Right. Now, when you go into your website, you open any blog post. Okay, just go into any blog post, open it. All right, and you should be able to see the 
auto bio inside here. All right. Now you can change the styles around if you want to. So let's say um, the social media links uh, looks a little bit boring. Uh, I want to put in a little bit more colors. All right. So you can actually modify how it looks uh, on your auto bio. So we will go back to our dashboard. All right. Just go back into our dashboard. Okay, and we are going to go back into simple author uh, settings again, right? So apart from what you see up here, if you scroll down a bit, you can actually uh, change uh, some settings for your author bio. So for example, um, I want to change how the social media links look like. So I'll actually click on the appearance, okay? And I can change it into something different, okay? So maybe the author image, I want to put it in a circle, all right? Uh, nowadays circles are more trendy right okay so i'm going to put it in a circle social icons yes put it in a circle colored okay i want colored and i want circles as well all right and um i think that's good enough so you can click on save settings okay just click on save settings and you can go ahead and refresh this screen okay to get a feel of how it looks like right now Okay, so you can see here, mm, much nicer. All right. Now, there is also one small thing you can do to adjust the layout of the author bio. Now, this actually, you need a little bit of CSS styling. All right. So some of you might notice that uh, maybe this line of text here, all right, you will see it actually end up at the end of the box instead of inside the box. So I'm going to show you basically how you can <clears throat> apply a CSS hack. All right. To work around the issue yeah so first of all you go into appearance okay customize all right and inside additional css okay you can put in a few lines of code so just go into additional css all right and put in this line of code here all right so i'm just going to zoom in a bit all right so that you can see okay what to do Right, so just copy and paste, okay, or type in this line of code inside additional CSS, and it will probably fix that uh, layout issue that you have in the author bio. All right, so once you're done with that, you have an excellent looking author bio for, for your blog post. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video, and uh, don't forget to click on subscribe and uh, click on the bell, okay, uh, so to keep uh, informed of new upcoming videos on the channel. Until then, see you in the next video.